This is the breakfast and plus TV Africa is took is on standby. He joins the conversation in no time. He's a public affairs analyst. Ezekon Yaitok, it's a pleasure to have you join us this morning on the show. Thank you, thank you. Always a pleasure to be with you. All right, then. We start off with the leadership newspaper this morning. Uh, it talks about 2023 presidency. Protesters invade APC and PDP secretariat. Want party tickets zone to south. Feels like the energy is topping the charts. I mean, the conversation, the voices are becoming very loud for, you know, southern candidate. APC records high turnout of presidential hopefuls as Fayemi Akpabio Shomole declares. Amoshu joins race today. <laughs> we talked about that uh, during our conversation on top trending. Party's presidential aspirant now 20. Tunde Bakari declares on Monday. Very interesting. For democracy, uh, it is good for democracy. The form of governor of Lagos State is quoted to say Bola uh, Tinubu. Uh, these are the riders you find underneath the board caption. UN mobilizing $351 million to support Nigerians' terrorism fight. Antonio Guterres is quoted on that. Federal government to end $201 billion in taxes. Royalties from Lekki Deep Sea Port. Two suspects die planting bomb at oil firm in Emor. Uh, th there was also another report, I don't know if you saw that, about an explosion that happened you know, oh, yesterday. Gee, really, really, really sad. And we're hoping that we can overcome all of this as a country. Beheading of soldiers by IPOP, unacceptable. President Mohammed Buhari is quoted on that, and Lagos Paso gets live um, jail for defiling friend's twin daughter. Now, just kick as telecoms plan to increase calls and SMS tariff by 40%. Uh, these are some of the headlines on the leadership this morning. Away from the leadership, we'll move on next to the nation newspaper. Tinubu is in the news. Uh, he says many presidential aspirants good for democracy. Oshoma Lefaye Miyakbabi joined race. Jigawa governor peaks nomination form. PDP OK's exclusion of two contenders. NBA chides federal lawmakers over no ransom payment bill. 73.8 million bank accounts not linked to BVN. All right, 128.4 million customers targeted. MTN Mafab to roll out a K5 G spectrum October August 24. Abiodo suspended aid, led guilty to $350,000 fraud. Lucky ports to generate $201 billion, among other stories on the nation newspaper away from the nation we take a look at the daily independent u.n scribe advises federal government on how to eliminate terrorism visa theaters of criminality in the south akin tola tells antonio Guterres, asks u.n to act decisively before war breaks out in nigeria two riders you find underneath the board caption terrorism fight Match words with action, Afeniferi tells the president. Terrorism fight, match words with action, Afeniferi tells the president. And you also find Ben Wei wouldn't relinquish land for national livestock transformation plan. And uh, the governor is quoted on that, Samuel or Tom. Headsman Q2 in Benway community. Now, telecom mold. 40% increase in call, data tariffs over energy and operational costs. What can we do? And Fire Mioshomole Akpabio declare interest as Bakari uh, Vice President peak the forms today. So we we're thinking that they had picked the form already. Nigeria needs God's visitation. The former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Lushegun Basanjo, is quoted on that. That's it on the Daily Independent newspaper. And finally, on the Punch newspaper, the lead story for this morning, multiple candidates threaten southern presidency. Leaders, uh, 124 aspirants, 
There's a picture of their 2023 palm or shift to the south. APC, please note our concern. A group, you know, protesting there. Save Nigerians from insecurity, Rep. Stel Buhari. Lagos pastor jailed for life for raping friends, twins, court Ford's parents. Uh, slain military cop Buhari demands killers uh, arrest. I bob the nice complicity, uh, among other stories on the punch this morning. Ezekiel Nyaitok, it's uh, good to have you join us this morning on the show. Thank you for having me. I'll say that again. Which of the headlines interest you as we went through the pages of a national dailies? I don't know whether to, uh, to use the word interest or disturb or concern <laughs> no. or any of those. We would be an interest, but, but go ahead. Yeah, but let me say something that should be extremely... Um, of great national import. I think that we are doing journalism in a way we are not really thinking about it. We are doing the reporting and we are doing excellent work at that. But when you go to the Constitution and know that the journalists are referred to as the fourth estate of the realm. That designation, which is in our constitution, has a spirit behind it. You don't only report, you have the national conscience barometer in your hands, which means that you have the capacity to set agenda. You have the capacity to see narratives that are against national interest, to play down on such narratives, and to play up narratives as a responsibility that will advance the good of the nation. That's my layman's understanding. Yesterday, I was privileged to have virtually the whole day with, um, in fact, I was hoping I'd be in your station this morning, but something happened that I, I needed to rush back with the last flight. I, was, I spent virtually the whole day with the former president, um, uh, Obong Obasanjo, and I say something and listen to this. When he was about to start to talk, because I went with ADC, I'm, I'm a BOT member of ADC, and a handful of us went to have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him. When he was about to start talking and we wanted to record, his, 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 um, his, his people said, no, please. He said, no, stop them. Don't stop them. Let them report. I want it on record. Now, the import of that is that what he wanted to say he had thought about it. It was not a spontaneous thing. It was something that he didn't mind being quoted. And what did he say? He said that he has lost faith in the capacity of APC and PDP to give this country the direction it needs. And that is why Though he is not a member of ADC, because he's right now non-partisan, but that he sees ADC as the party that has the capacity in the immediate future to change the trajectory of this country in the right direction. He said that, and he said, I want it on tape. I want it recorded. Why am I saying this? Look at all the newspaper reviews. Look at everything. It's about APC PDP, APC PDP, APC PDP. Which media house has sat down as a policy trajectory or position or editorial perspective to ask, do we have an alternative? ADC came third in the last general election. APC came first, PDP came second, 
ADC came third. How many media houses have the logo of ADC? How many media houses put ADC as a narrative? As at today, ADC has nine presidential aspirants, including very well-known names, like Kingsley Moralu, who talks about them. On a daily basis, people like, you know, Dumebi Kachiku, who is well known in this country in his field and has done well. People like Chuku Kamoye, whom when he talks to you, you can see wisdom, you can see accomplishment, you can see competence and capacity. I can go on and on and on. These people, nine of them, have come on ADC. Who talks about them? I think that the media ought to tell Nigerians that they have a choice. When you look at the current electoral act and the provisions made, it gives you the confidence that your vote will count. Because in the past we said, oh, you don't belong to the big parties, you know what, blah, blah, blah. But now they know that the vote will count. It means that ADC with this plan, networking with the entertainment industry today, Imagine Bonner Boy, Whiskey, um, Tubaba, all these people coming together, then the Nollywood coming together to say, young people, this is where we want to go. ADC comes and says, we don't want young people to pay. We don't want women to pay. We don't want people with disabilities to pay. Come pick your form. Let's create a new narrative. Let's create an alternate platform. And ADC is is doing a debate for all the aspirants. Mm. Let Nigerians see that animation of who a president should be. Who is talking about them? Which of the They don't have money to pay the media. Which? But does the media have the moral conscience to say, talk to us? I know that, like this much I'm talking, in some places I could have been cut short. Plus TV has agreed that they will do everything to promote this, and I need to give people the credit. That's why you be silent and let me say this much. But can you also help to tell your colleagues that Nigerians have a choice? All right. Ezekiel and I took just before, you know, Justin comes in there. We're not expected to be partisan. So when you talk about... We no, have, no, no, uh, no, no. You're not partisan. Because, because you, 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 you mentioned... The, you, the media, no, 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 no. The Ezekiel, media, you one of the rules of the logos. media is setting agenda. No, you're you, not being partisan. Ezekiel Yaitouk, you rightly mentioned that whether we or not we have a logo of a certain political party, you mentioned the party that you belong. Um, we're not expected to, uh, you know, be partisan, and we know what... No, each time you mention PDP, you put their logo. When you mention any... The other day, I was talking in one of the media houses, I mean, and what was flashed on top of me, the umbrella. And I told the, I told the media person, I said, the, the director said, I take exception to that. I am in ADC. I'm talking as a BOT member of ADC, the third largest party in Nigeria, and you are putting an umbrella in front of me. Can you please put the logo of ADC? Let me see. Okay, like, like, like now I'm talking. I don't want to challenge you because it may not be necessary. But how many, how many media houses have the third largest party? with nine presidential candidates. But, but is it a, you, like you have mentioned that we are one of the responsibilities that we report. And so what do, what, how do you report what has not happened? That's the, that's well, the question. So, no, so no, what no, exactly no, is going on is with this party? I mean, no, that, 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 the, the media is in the know. We are today about, don't say that now. Don't say that, sister. Uh, it, it, no, sir. But I hope that you understand where I'm coming from. No, I don't, unfortunately. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's just move on, so because of time, so we can actually cover much ground. The UN scribe Antonio Guterres is in Nigeria, and uh, he uh, is advising the federal government on how to eliminate terrorism. I, I, I read the story yesterday, and a lot of people are asking him to go see uh, those sites for himself and not necessarily believe uh, what the federal government is uh, telling him. But let's talk about him um, advising the federal government on how to eliminate terrorism. How do you react to this, Ezekiel? I, I, when, when others care about Nigeria, I, I, they are not 
These people are not as stupid as we think they are. On the Daily Independent. Yeah. Poland has become a global village. They know what is going on, even when they come here. Many of us, including um, the two of you, travel out of this country a lot. And even when you don't travel, you are you are exposed to international media and you know the social media and everything. The, 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 the issue of terrorism in Nigeria is starting to become a scandal. When you look at our budget every year on, 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 on security, and then you now go into the, 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 the a, 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 a synthesis, you know, an analysis of the budget. In every budget, there are subheads where the money is applied. Uh, are they going into recurrent? Are they going into capital within the recurrent? What are they going into? Is it training, manpower development? Or is it when you do all this forensic analysis, you get to discover that there is, in my opinion, I may be wrong, I pray, um, there is a thriving enterprise that will make it difficult for the concept of insecurity to end. How there so? are people benefiting and feeding fat. How have we done investigative journalism to see where this money goes? How have we engaged experts across the board, including Nigerians, to see whether we are doing the right thing the right way or we are creating an atmosphere for people to, to, to rip off the state. Where, you know, I was on television sometime and I was saying something about, you know, give me an advice to a governor. As I left the studio, somebody gave me a call with a block number. I picked all numbers. I've said this before. And when I picked, he said, Akita, you know, we have a lot of respect for you. Please don't say that again. I was a little baffled. I said, I thought I was doing it in the, in the interest of the state. He said, yes, we know you are. But you see, this government, eh, if you don't do like this, they will not release money. So don't, if they listen to you and they stop that, it means that you block the way that people, you know, I caught the call because I was actually infuriated. I was actually angry that people think that a decision that will save us money is a way of blocking their means of livelihood. And he was talking passionately. He was, he was not talking like a joke. He was really serious about it. Okay, don't, don't do that. You know, you get profession. You know where to chop your money. Our all oh, these people, if they, don't, if, they, if they don't do like that, if we don't do like that, they're not going to bring money. Let's do it. So what that means is that insecurity could be instigated and yet, Siwe is dropping us because of personal gains. The whole nation is being held to, 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 to a standstill. People cannot go to the farms. And insecurity is coming from the angle of food. And national security is a broader perspective than insecurity. Children not going to school is an aspect of national insecurity. And so many other things. So I think that we Nigerians don't need anybody to come from outside, from UN, to give us money or to come from to come and see to go and on that. No, the day that we Nigerians want insecurity to end, it will end. Look at everybody that is jumping up to become president, president, president. How many of us have held them to account? We are marrying the crowd. We are talking so much about the hundred million. Do we know that a hundred million? Each time you say a hundred million, these guys just look at you and like, where are you coming from? That's not money to them. A hundred million that we, we split our heads over is nothing. One house that they own in Dubai, you know how much they pay? And they have several of such things. So what you are breaking your head over is not even touching them. You are thinking in terms of a budget of 50 billion for their campaign. You are talking about a hundred million for, for fun. These guys live in two different worlds, and the time has come when we should sit down and ask ourselves, I'm not talking about politicians, I mean you and I, Nigerians with moral conscience, the time has come for us to sit down and say, look, this country belongs to us. 
Before someone like myself will want to contest for the governorship of a quiet one, say, what do I want? God has blessed me. I don't need to be boastful or arrogant about it. But how did I get to where I am today? What, what legacy am I bequeathing my, 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 my generation or my, my children? I'm a grandfather today. What will I tell my grandchild, Aaron? What will I tell him that I give? Let me have a certificate, but one day he's going to ask me, Grandpa, what did you do? And I'm telling him, against all odds, I put my life on the line and I contested the governorship of my state. And this is what I say. This is what I did. This is the effort I made. And when he talks, he will talk with a, as, as, as a proud child and say, this is what my grandfather did. It's not all every old person that was that was useless that ruined this country. My grandfather did this. This is he, he will show them videos. He will show them, take them to my page, see the ideology and see my campaign. And he was not talking money. He was talking passion and love for country. I am proud of my grandfather. That's what I want to leave. That's what I want to bequeath my 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 my, my, my children and grandchildren. How many of us are seeing Nigeria as our responsibility? Oh, it is their responsibility. They should come and fix it. And when they come to fix it, you collect money from them. You collect a vote. You send your vote. When they come for campaign, you tell them to learn. Where are they getting all the money from? I'm talking as somebody inside, wearing the shoes on a daily basis, losing weight. If you look at my face, you can tell that something has gone. All right. Somebody has something else to give. All right, Mr. Ezekiel, uh, there are other stories. Uh, on the nation, let's uh, take them before we just round off very quickly. Uh, 73.8 million bank accounts not linked to BVN, 128.4 million customers targeted. I want your reaction on that. What is, what is not linked, targeted? What does that mean? Is this concept of fraud Banks know they are feeding fat from, from, from monies that cannot be accounted for. Who are these people? You know how to hold our phone lines when there is no, no, um, um, you know, um, NIM. What the, NIM. Sorry? NIM. NIM. Oh, yes, yes. NIM. You know how to freeze. Why can't you freeze all these accounts? Let the owners come up and, and, Tell the people within, if, if this is your money, what are you afraid of? If this is your money, legitimate money, if the banks are to be sincere with you, I have friends in the bank at the highest possible levels. And when you sit down and one of the things that God has blessed me with is that people are confident and they talk with me and they know that I will keep my mouth shut in the sense that I will act responsibly. When they tell you what is going on in the banks, if EFCC is to sit down and tell you the truth, ICPSC, NFIU, you will know that what we need is in this country is in this country. And it just takes one person that means well. All this over 70 or 73.5 million, you know, bank accounts. Let them tell you the amount involved in this account and why they are not linked to any DVM. And transactions are still going on. And the central bank governor, who wants to be president of Nigeria? He's keeping quiet. Is he not aware of this? He is. What does he say? Has he given instruction seven days? Get this done, or else bank send all this. Every single person that works on a bank account has details with the bank. That's one of the conditions. Send message to all these people within seven days. If you do not come, we'll move all your accounts. Let central bank insist that. All the accounts will be moved into central bank, safe custody. Nobody's touching the money. Nobody's touching your money. Safe custody. You'll be shocked how banks will rush and get the bill because they want the money to come back into the account. And then these accounts are going to be with us for six months. Within six months, all the accounts that have not been taken, they are going to be moved, you know, to another place where there's going to be a custody, maybe NSIA, where there's going to be a custody of these monies applied to, you know, interest yielding ventures that will be able to pay the necessary interest so that if somebody had traveled abroad, okay, and didn't get the message, 
10 years, 5 years, it comes back. His money is not only safe, but there's interest. Instead of declaring dormant account and all, and the banks will be feeding fat on it. When this very simple statement is made, every customer's money is safe. Very safe. They are not moving it to use anyway. And the government must be responsible enough. Other people will kick against it because they know that once they move it, stories will change. But the day we have a government that is believed, they will say, commercial banks, move the money to central bank. It stays with us for six months. Anyone that is above six months, we move it to maybe NSIU, okay? And then we'll now put it into maybe real estate where we know that the funds are safe under very strict conditions. You know, working with maybe, uh, you know, uh, the, the mortgage banks or something. But it is, there's a framework that makes sure your money is safe. But then it becomes interest yielding and not just in the banks, where the banks are making money with it and then giving explanations. When they do this, brother, within 12 months, every account, every account will be accounted for. And then all that money that is, that is that's touched away by people who cannot come out because it's not their money. It can be used to, to help Nigeria, used in education, used in something that will advance the good of this country. All right, thank you so much, uh, architect Mizik Hengaitok, for your thoughts that you have shared on Off the Press this morning. We do appreciate your time. Thank you, and I'm sorry if I was hard in any way. I'm just... Uh, <laughs> don't know, that's <laughs> no, we need to judge. Thank you so you much. Know, everyone uh, needs to hear um, every side of the story. Thank you so much. All right, thank you, Zikanya, for being part of the show. We appreciate you, as always. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, so, you know, that part of the uh, apology <laughs> wasn't necessary. Mm. I mean, it's okay. It's part of the conversation. But you also need to understand that the question of, you know, the role of the media and all of this is very apt. Mm. But you can also not take out the fact that majorly you report what happens. And so how do you then not report what has not happened? I mean, a lot of people have questioned where's the presence of the third force or other political parties. We know that we have uh, more than, I mean, two parties that are contesting for the 2023 elections. I mean, approved parties will be 18. Where are these political parties? What are they doing? Where are they? Because, I mean, in Lagos State, I really don't know if we've actually felt their presence or heard anything about them. This is me speaking, and I stand to be corrected. I don't think it's fair for us to put the blame entirely on the media. But that's oh. the much that we can take on off the press. We'll definitely return tomorrow, and it would be an exciting conversation looking at the front pages of a national dailies. In the meantime, we'll take a break. But before that time, let's let you know what happened today in history.
Yeah.